Hello and welcome to Quick Tips, the WooCommerce video series. In this video, I'll show you how you can create easy login and register pop-up in a WooCommerce website. Let me show you an example. I'm going to add one product in the cart and let's go to the cart. You will see this is the cart and now I'm not logged into this website. I'm new to this website and I want to make a purchase. However, while making a purchase, I need to create an account on this website so that all the information will be saved into my account. So for the new visitor, we need to create a system where the user will be able to log in or register easily while making a purchase. So here we are on the cart page and I'm going to click on proceed to checkout and it is going to open a pop up and it is going to ask you to log in to the existing account or register if you are a new visitor to the website. So you will see it here, proceed to checkout, but first log in or register. And it will ask you to enter the email address or the username. I'm going to add email address here. So let's add one email address here. And you will see that it will give you prompt Gmail, Hotmail, Outlook, Yahoo or iCloud automatically. So you can select one of the popular mail service provider. I'm going to select this one. Hotmail. So this is going to be my email address and you will also see two different options login with Facebook or login with Google. So you can also set up login with Facebook or login with Google. For this you will need to get the API keys from the Google and the Facebook. I'll show you how does this work. So in this case I have entered the email address and I'm going to click on continue. Now here it says you are new to the website and you need to create an account. It seems you don't have an account on this website but don't worry, you can create one and then complete your order. So it will give you an option to set up a password for your account. You can enter the password here. So I'm going to add a password here. So the user will be able to set up the password for their account. And the option is register and proceed to checkout. Now this pop-up is fully customizable. You can change the style settings of this pop-up and you can also change the content that you see here on this pop-up. So I'm going to click on register and proceed to checkout. Now it has already created an account for me and we are on the checkout page. So now I can enter the details and I can place the order. So before placing the order, I have already created an account on this website. Let me show you. Let's go back to my accounts here and you will see that this is the username and we have created account using this username. Let's log out from the account and let's try to make a purchase again. Now I already have an account and I'm going to log in with the existing account. Before that, let's add the product, go to view cart and click on proceed to checkout. And I'm going to use the email address that I have just used to create an account. Click continue and it says great to see you again. Enter your password to continue. And here you see welcome back Prashant 2 is the username of this account. So I can now enter the password which I have already created, stay logged in. And if you do not remember the password, you can click on forgot password and you will see this option lost your password. You can create a new password here or you can enter the password. So all this system can be created using a plugin. So I'm going to click on sign in. Now I'm logged into this existing account using the email address and the password. Now to create this easy login and register pop-up system, I'm going to use this plugin YITH easy login and register pop-up for WooCommerce. This is not a free plugin. This is a paid plugin and the pricing of this plugin is $79.99 per year for a single website and you will also get 30 days money back guarantee. If you do not like this plugin, you will get your money back. You can see all the features of this plugin here. If you want to buy this plugin, I'll give you the link in the description box. You can use my link. So let's see how we can create easy login and register pop-up using the YITH plugin. Before we start with the installation of the plugin, let me inform you that today's video is brought to you by Breakdance. I have already published a video on how to install and use the Breakdance plugin. Breakdance is the modern visual website builder for WordPress. It is easy for beginners to learn and powerful enough for the most advanced professionals. Breakdance is loaded with features including a premium pre-made template library, a robust form builder, AI content writing capabilities, a versatile pop-up builder and 
seamless WooCommerce integration. Whether you are just starting your WordPress journey or you are a seasoned pro looking for a better builder for your agency, now is the perfect time to build better websites with Breakdance. Try today and experience the Breakdance difference. I'll give you the link in the description box if you want to watch the detailed video on how to use the Breakdance plugin and what are the features in the Breakdance plugin. So here I'm logged into the dashboard of the WordPress website and I'm using WooCommerce on this website. Now we are going to install the YITH easy login and register pop-up for WooCommerce plugin. So let's go to the dashboard, go to plugins and click on add new plugin. I have already downloaded the plugin, so I'm going to upload it now. So click on upload plugin browse the plugin yith easy login register pop-up click on install now and click on activate plugin all right so the plugin is installed and it is activated you will see it here and in the left hand panel you will see the option yith when you move the cursor on it you will see an option easy login register pop-up click on it now these are the basic settings of this plugin. This is the pop-up size. Currently it is set to 590. Close pop-up by clicking on the background and blur the background. Now let me open the website here in another browser where I'm not logged in. Let's add product so that we can test the pop-up. Click on view card and click on proceed to checkout and you will see this pop-up is there and this is the background if i click on the background it will close the pop-up so you will see this option here close pop-up by clicking on the background blur the background currently background is blur blur that we have fade in and fade out this is the animation of the pop-up let's close this and let's see this is fade in and if i close it is fade out so if you want to change the animation you can change the animation fade in up fade in down Let's try this one, fade in down and fade out will be, let's say up, save the options. You will see the change here, fade in down. If I close, it will go to up, All right? So these are the animation settings here. Then we have close pop-up icon. Currently you will see this icon here. This is the close pop-up icon. If you want to change it, you can upload a new icon there. Pop-up background color. This is the pop-up background color. You can change the color. Currently it is set to white. You can customize it and you can add your own color there. Let's try this one. Then we have pop-up header background color. You will see the header here. Let's change the header color also. Let's try this one. This is the pop-up text color, which is black. Pop-up link color, if button colors, these are the button colors. You will see this is the continue button color button border color so you can customize these settings if you want to change the color of the button you can change it from here let's try another color here all right so this is the button color then we have border color button text color is white and overlay background color is this one click save options let's refresh it and you will see the changes here. This is the header background color. This is the pop-up background. This is the button color. So we have changed the button color. Let's go back. Let's go to the next option, first step options. Here you will see pop-up header text, proceed to checkout. You will see it here. If you want to change it, you can change it. Then we have but first login or register. You will see it here. So this is the title. If you want to change the text, you can change it. Allow the username if enabled, the user can also enter the username to login. If disabled, only the email address can be used to login. Custom text before the form. Let's try this one less. So I have got this custom text here. Then we have user input label, email address or username. You will see it here. Then we have continue button. Below that we have social login options. Currently we have Facebook login and Google login. By default, these two options are disabled. If you want to enable it, you can simply click on this enable. And after that, you will need to enter the Facebook app ID and the Google login client ID. Here you will see the option how to find the app ID. And here you will see the option how to find the Google client ID. If you need help with setting up Google login or the Facebook login, you can go to this documentation 
right i have added some dummy information here to enable this option and i'm going to save the options here let's refresh it again and you will see this text here that we have added this is the text that we have added next is login options pop-up header will be again proceed to check out welcome back let's try this one it will also give you an option gmail hotmail outlook so i'm going to select let's say yahoo.com this is the username click on continue now here it says that you are new here create your account it seems you do not have an account on this website so you can set up a new password here and create an account so i'm going to set up a new password here all right so i have added a new password here and click on register and proceed to check out now it is going to register your account there and you will be able to proceed to check out okay we have created an account all right so i have added the information here and i'm going to place the order all right the order is successful all right i'm going to log out from the account and now i'm going to add a new product here a view card and i'm going to click on proceed to check out it will ask me to log in again so i'm going to use the same email address that i used to create an account so this is going to be an existing account with this email address click continue and it will say welcome back the username and here you will see the name and the email address of the user great to see you again enter your password to continue you will see it here great to see you again enter your password to continue so all the settings are pretty simple you can go through all these settings one by one and you can make changes here i can enter the password the same password check the box stay logged in and click on sign in so now i'm logged in using the same username that i have created then i can proceed to check out and make a purchase okay next option is register options proceed to check out you are new here text before the password form set a password for this account lost password option is there if you have already an account using the email address and if you do not remember the password then this is the option it will be shown lost password pop-up title lost password let me show you go back to website my account let me log out let's add product now i'm going to use the same email address continue and you will see this option here i'm going to click on it and you will see this option here recover your password lost your password don't worry you will see all the settings here okay so if you want to change the content you can go here and change the content from here so you can see that it is very easy to install the plugin and set up easy login and register pop-up on a woocommerce website so if you want to buy this plugin i'll give you the link in the description box you can use my link so that's it for now see you in the next video do not forget to subscribe to my channel to get more quick tips about online softwares and tools if you have any questions please leave us message in comment section and press the like button if you like the video thanks for watching quick tips